So Danny Garcia has thrown his hat in the mix for a fight against Conor Ben. In a recent interview, he said, I would love to fight him at 154. That makes great sense. He wants to fight a big name. Garcia versus Ben. There ain't no bigger fight than fighting Danny Garcia. So I would love that fight. Stylistically, that's a great fight for me. And that's a fight that I would love at 154, not at 147. They already know what time it is. I don't duck no smoke. I'm about to change my middle name from Swift to Smoke. If the price is right, I would go anywhere to fight Ben. I watched the Dobson fight. I thought Dobson did good. He was gritty. He fought. He had skills. All right, those are the words of Danny Garcia. And apparently, Eddie Hearn is entertaining this fight. In a recent interview, he said, I want to see him, as in Conor Ben, fight in the UK next. And it's going to be a massive fight. Danny Garcia reached out to our team to talk to me directly, and I'll be talking to him this week. I love the fight with Danny Garcia, the US or the UK. Like I said, four or five names, and he's definitely in the mix. All right, those are the words of Eddie Hearn. Now, I'm not sure who the four or five names are for Conor Ben, because we can rule out Tank Davis. I seriously doubt Conor Ben's going to be fighting Terence Crawford or Boots Ennis anytime soon. I suspect Eddie Hearn is throwing certain names out there for clout when he knows there's no chance of them happening. When he says four or five names, I suspect it's probably more like one or two names. Three at a push. If Conor Ben really wants to fight a known quantity, then there's never been a better opportunity to take on Danny Garcia. Garcia's been inactive for nearly two years. He's 35 years of age. He hasn't had a good performance in years. His last fight was a majority decision over Jose Benavidez Jr. And prior to that, he got absolutely dominated by Errol Spence back in 2020. Now Garcia wants to fight at 154, but lest we forget, this guy was fighting at 140 for years. In fact, that was his best weight. He's never looked particularly impressive at 147. So how impressive could he possibly look at 154? If you want a big name, Conor Ben, well here it is. This is probably the most realistic big name that you're gonna get right now. It may not be for Mega Millions, like a Eubank Jr. fight would be, or a Tank Davis fight would be, especially with it being in the US. If Conor Ben can't get his British license back, then he's gonna have to accept the reality of pay cuts, at least in the short term. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who will Conor Ben fight next? Do you think Danny Garcia is a good opponent for him? Do you think Conor Ben and Eddie Hearn are seriously considering this fight? I think they have mentioned Danny Garcia in the past. I think it is a winnable fight given how faded Danny Garcia appears to be now. But he's experienced. He's a good counter puncher. He's full at a high level. So he can bring certain things to the ring which Conor Ben hasn't encountered before as a pro. Danny Garcia, of course, never been stopped. Very tough, good chin. In fact, you could even say that Danny Garcia is like a more advanced version of Peter Dobson in some aspects. Because he's a very solid guy, Danny Garcia. Doesn't waste a lot of shots. When he does land, he tends to land clean. Unlike Peter Dobson, of course, he's got one A plus punch, and that's his left hook. Anyway, that's my take on this potential fight between Conor Ben and Danny Garcia. Give me your take in the comment section below.